So I went to All Star Weekend and I did some shopping. I also got a bunch of gifts, so I wanted to unbox all this stuff and show you guys what I picked up over the weekend. So I'm sure some of you guys have seen all my other social platforms, Instagram, TikTok, Snapchat, YouTube Shorts, you name it. I've been posting a couple of things, some behind the scenes look, different photos, people I met and some of the parties I went to, but I didn't really have time to actually shoot a full vlog of the trip. So I figured I'd do a little recap and tell a couple stories along the way as I unbox some of the things that I got. Starting off with the first item right here, we have a Foot Locker bag and inside of here, let's see what we got. We got a little Flex app card right here and a little, is this a foam basketball? It looks like a little foam basketball right here. And then I ended up picking up a pair. I had to double up, it only made sense. I was copping them for retail. As you can see by the box right here, you got a pair of Jordans. But which ones are they? Are they nines or are they 11s? I got another pair of Cherry 11s. They were sitting on shelves at the Foot Locker store. They had them for retail. They were restocking a bunch of different retros throughout the weekend. Each and every day they were dropping new retros. So when I saw these hit the shelves, I was like, you know what? I gotta grab another pair. I couldn't pass up on them. So as I was leaving the Foot Locker, they actually had another Foot Locker right down the hallway and that's where the House of Hoops was at. And they were doing a collaboration pop-up with Jordan Brand. And they were bringing out different people to do speaking engagements, having different high schools. And it was super dope. As you guys can see right here from the TikTok video that I posted you could go in there and they had barbers people to do your nails they have photo booths with the little Wheaties pop-up they had other installations with art or playing 2k and I think it was a really good pop-up because a lot of people are able to come in and get a good shopping experience as well getting all these different items for retail and then to also be able to have a little bit of fun while they were in there shopping during that time I got a chance to sit down with Bam and Big Tigga and it was super dope meeting Big Tigga in particular because we all know he has been around for so long and we ended up talking and he showed me some videos of his shoe collection and he said we might be able to come out and shoot his collections if we can make that happen i think it would be super dope if anybody else knows him as well make sure you guys reach out to him and tell him i'm trying to pull up and shoot that collection video because i think it would be super dope to do but besides that i did a little bit of shopping before i left and went to the jordan party and i'm gonna show you guys what i got right here the first shoe as you can see it's a little bit smaller but you know i had to get something for wifey as well she doesn't have this colorway in particular so i made sure i picked them up for her. i couldn't pass up for a retail cop you got the navy fours right here in her size this is i think is another good option i saw these sitting on the shelf they had just restocked them they put this in a different shoe out and i got a pair of shoes for myself as well but to see these hit the shelves for retail i was like yo i gotta get these and being that this was a collaboration with house of hoops they had a nice shopping bag for everybody with jordan brand right there you got the branding on the bag so nice premium bag i thought it was cool to show you guys as well what comes along with the shopping experience now for the shoes that i got they're sitting on shelves. Some people may call these bricks. You can call them what you like. I just hadn't got a chance to get this shoe for retail yet. And I, I've been wanting to get these since they came out. And I didn't want to pay anything over the retail price. As you can see from the box right here, another pair of Jordans. You guys know I like my J's. But in this box, <sighs> y'all know I love me some sixes. Can you guess what's inside the box? The Georgetown Air Jordan 6. They restocked these at the store right when they restocked the fours. And I happened to be there when they did it. And I ended up getting my hands on a pair and I was extremely happy about this cop. I've been finding pairs for retail and just above retail, but they weren't a size 13. And when I saw the size 13 sitting at the store, I was like, bro, well, I, I didn't say I saw the size 13. I just saw a pair on the shelves. And typically when I see a pair, they never have them in my size. So I was like, yo, do you guys have a size 13? And they're like, let me check. They went to the back and they're like, yeah, we got the four for you, uh, for your wife, for her size. But let me check on the sixes. I don't know. And then the other dude was like, yeah, we just got those. We got a 13 for sure. So the dude goes back. He grabs them for me. He's like, yeah, we got them. I was like, bro, instant cop. I need to have these. So I finally got these in my collection. I'm not sure if I'm going to do a full review on these. I know I gave you guys some in-depth looks at the shoe just on some in-hand shots right now. But either way, I love this sneaker. I think they did a really, really good job on this shoe. Let me know what you guys think about these down below. And uh, let's take it to the next part of the weekend. So after that, we ended up going to the Jordan Brand Parlor 23. And it was a friends and family event only. So I had a chance to go in and meet with a bunch of crazy cool people. Talking about big celebrities and names that you know. Different athletes and other people in the media world as well. And like I said before, 
I know I've been trying to tell these stories in the past because this is stuff I used to do years ago, like 10 years ago. I used to go to All-Star Weekend all the time and do these things, but I just would never document the journey. And I kind of forgot to do that as well because I like to be in the moment and trying to network with people at the same time. So I kind of see more value in the relationships than actually trying to capture content of those people. So that's just kind of something for me when it comes to these special events. But I was able to grab a couple of pictures and take a couple of videos while I was there just trying to remember to do that on the content side but I want to show you guys a couple things that I got um, right here this is the bag that they gave us so it's the parlor 23 saloon it was a little tote bag and then it has a Jumpman on the front so as you can see on the tote on the back end it has the coordinates and then it says Salt Lake City and everything like that and on this day <sighs> I didn't get the black and white ones uh, when they had came out so I was kind of like damn bro how did I get these but Luckily, they had something to make me happy, and they have, as you can see right here, the little locker box. Super cool. I got a 5C. I always like getting the baby shoes from my collection as well. But you got the OG Air Jordan 1, black and white right here, 85 style with the baby shoe. These are super clean. I love this sneaker. I think it's super dope to see that OG style of the Jordan 1 come back compared to the retro style. Now, um, right here, also inside, oh, I forgot about this. So... You got to customize an item, but I was literally so busy upstairs by the basketball court networking with people. I kind of forgot by the end of the night when the party was getting over and I went down there and I was a little too late. So I ended up not being able to customize an item, but this is the ticket that they give you to customize. Uh, I think it was a hoodie or something like that. But luckily they hooked me up with some other stuff and um, I got some photos right here. We got to backtrack real quick. Um, these photos. I don't know if you can see it. I'll try to get a close-up shot. But this is at the Wheaties booth uh, at the House of Hoops pop-up earlier in the day. This was kind of with me just messing around, taking a couple shots. So that was something that's cool as well. I put that in there to protect it so I wouldn't mess up the photos when I packed the stuff to bring it home. And I forgot to show you guys. So besides that, I, was, uh, I wasn't able to customize the free hoodie that they were giving out to everybody that was, you know, the party favor. So we got the totes as well. And then I ended up getting a hoodie right here so as you can see it's got the jordan brand right here this is stitched on like a embroidered Jumpman logo and then on the back end right here you got the coordinates salt lake city got the globe right there 23 with the jump man and everything so they ended up hooking me up with the hoodie either way and it was super dope to be able to go there and network and meet a lot of dope people and reconnect with a lot of friends as well because i haven't really been going to all-star weekend that much anymore over the past few years and now that i'm getting back in the mix and meeting all my friends and stuff again and seeing everybody and meeting new people it's been fun to go out and do it so what else did i cop from there i went to the parlor oh also here we go so we got another white bag right here. This was actually from the parlor. So they had similar style bags uh, at the parlor or at the House of Hoops pop-up, but they had the Craft 4s there. And I was like, you know what? Like, if they got a retail cop, they got a size 13, let me just try it and see if I wanna keep this shoe or not. You guys know my mentality. If I'm on the fence about the shoe, I typically will purchase it. And then if I end up not liking it, I'll either give it away or trade it to somebody or whatever and try to get a different shoe. But right here, we have the Kraft Air Jordan 4, a nice mixture of materials with the leathers and the suede and everything like that. If you guys wanna see a review video of this sneaker, let me know down below in the comment section and I'll try to get that out to you guys as soon as I possibly can. I know there's a lot going on this week and we got sneaker con coming up, but I wanted to make sure I showed you guys these as well. Thought it was a nice pickup. Again, not my favorite Air Jordan 4, but a really clean shoe. Right here's a couple wristbands as well from the three point contest, the night with the dunk contest and everything like that. Sometimes I keep the wristbands. I got a couple Couple other party wristbands over here i usually just kind of use them as memorabilia and throw them in the boxes for storytelling and different things like that and i have some boxes and actually i know i don't know how interesting it would be to you guys but i have these boxes that are loaded with like these crazy wristbands from like vip parties concerts tours you name it and i have just so many stories literally i could look at the wristband and just tell you a bunch of crazy stories just simply from looking at a wristband and the nights out and the different things like that so if you do want to see a video like that or something like this like house of hoops all access pass different things like that and just kind of telling you guys the different stories i would be down to do something like that because i think it would be kind of fun so the next one right here we got a bag Again, from the Parlor 23. Shout out to Jordan Brand for hooking it up, bro. You guys are amazing for this one. Size 13, I wasn't able to get the shoes, 
But luckily, they had him there. Took care of your boy. Oh man. Oh man. 85 Jordan 1, black and white. These recently came out over the past week. And uh, you know I got all the colors, so I gotta get these. Plus, I was actually wearing my 2008 CDP pair out there just in just to bring back nostalgia. People thought I was wearing these ones. And they're like, oh, dope, you got the new ones. And I was like, nah, nah, check the back end. They seen the jump, man. They was like, damn, you got the old one. So for me, it's always fun to do those little things like that, just to let the sneakerheads know, like if you know, you know, type thing. So. I was excited about picking these up and I got my size. Super happy about this sneaker right here. And uh, I think this was a great cop. Like this is, oh, man, this is a great shoe right here. So let me know what you guys think about these. Were you guys able to get this shoe? And do you want to see a full in-depth review of this sneaker comparing to other colorways and different models and iterations? Oh, speaking of that, actually, I got them right here. These are the ones I was wearing. So you see the Jumpman's is on the tongue. And then you got the jump man on the back end right there on the heel. So different variations of the shoe, different eras. I still love that sneaker and I love that sneaker way before the pandas came out. I just stopped wearing it because everybody was wearing the pandas. But that's a whole nother topic. Either way, another dope shoe, another great addition to the collection. Now, we got a couple more things to go over because the trip was fun. We hit up the celebrity game. We saw my bro Jesser. He went crazy out there at the game. He was doing his thing. He ended up getting fouled out. He got kicked out of the game, which is crazy. But either way, we had a good time at that. Like I said, the dunk contest was insane. Well, part of it was. Some of the other dunks was kind of weak, but we can talk about that later. You guys seen some of the TikToks that's been going up. Speaking of that, shout out to y'all for showing love on the TikTok, bro. We're getting millions of views right now. If you guys aren't following me on TikTok right now, please go over there, DJ Sneakerhead. Check it out, tap in, hit that subscribe, or I guess follow button over there. Hit the follow button and let's go have some fun on TikTok because I like to post different stuff on different platforms as well. So let's see what we got next. Oh, we met Travis Scott. Speaking of that, let's talk about that real quick. So I ended up going to the NBA Cactus Jack pop-up out there as well and they had a different venue where they did the parties at the end of the night and then they had a pop-up shop right down below that people could go shop at during the daytime so there's a bunch of people camped out in line and everything like that and we ended up pulling up and I had to go check it out and see what they had. So they had patches and they had different things that you could do to add the items to what you purchased. So they had like a blank tee and it had the NBA logo with the Cactus Jack on it. And then you could customize it with different patches and things like that. Speaking of that, I got some of the patches right here. I got these to put on my hat. So as you can see, they say Utah and everything like that on there, All-Star. I wanted to get something that actually represented where it was from and told the story of like All-Star Weekend 2023. Cause some of the other ones just said Cactus Jack. You could have literally got those from anywhere so typically when i get these type of merch and memorabilia things i like to get stuff like that so i ended up getting a pair of brown sweats right here i didn't do any customization to them they got the all-star patch on them with the cactus jack logo that's on both sides of the sweats right here just wanted something a little bit simple honestly nothing too crazy i know they did have some stuff that you could go wild with but i just wanted like some sweats that i didn't have in a different color and i don't have any brown sweats that are this color in particular everybody need them doodle -doo browns you know what i'm saying so i had to make sure i grabbed these and i thought it'd be a cool little memorabilia piece but besides that i was there and uh, all the Jordan Brand family pulled up. Next thing you know, Travis Scott pulls up. We ended up going back inside and he was up in there taking photos with people and doing everything, got to meet the crew. And it was super dope to have that experience and watch all the fans get to meet him as well. So that was a cool little thing, knowing that we were just happened to be at the right place at the right time. And it all kind of aligned while we were out there and things were just going and flowing really well. And shout out to everybody that was showing love or helping me get into different places or inviting me to certain parties or private events. I had a great time with that as well. My boy, legit Tim, was out there so i linked up with him i got to link up with a lot of different homies and we had a really good time now before we end this video we got a couple more things to go over because we had a friends and family party that we went to that i forgot to mention and that was the feature party so at this party as you can see from the clips right here we pulled up they had the feature at the beginning right there they had the free ice cream they had the open bar all the different things they got the food they had the hoodie customization and the shirt customization and they ended up hooking me up with a dope hoodie which i'm going to show you guys in a second but we got to talk about the pop-up because honestly they had a really really clean pop-up they had a bunch of items available for retail they had an area 
area to sit down and chill. Then they had all the different items from the Fear of God for retail and a lot of different collaborations and hats and feature products as well. So I thought it was a really cool product. And shout out to the guys at Feature and the team that put that together because y'all are some real ones. Y'all know who you are. I appreciate you guys as always. Now let's get into this dope hoodie. So they ended up letting me customize a hoodie and I want to show you guys what it looks like. I've actually kind of tatted it up a little bit. So on the front right here, I ended up deciding to go with the print with the feature just below the Nike logo. So this is actually stitched on there and then this is printed on. And then on the sleeve right here, we did a Nike swoosh going upward on the sleeve over here. And then on the sleeve on the right side, let me try to, there we go. Salt Lake City, you got the hoop with the fire and the ball going through it right here, down on the right side of the sleeve. I did a hit on the side of the hood right here. So is never done is the statement that they were using. So it's like Salt Lake City is never done. So and so and so is never done. So it was kind of cool adding that. And then I made sure, like I said, something that really represents the area and putting a timestamp on things. You got the Utah feature Salt Lake City big logo right here on the back end of the hoodie as well. So I tatted this thing up. They told me I could have added more stuff to it, but I was just like, bro, I gotta go. I'm tired. I still need to eat. We got other places to be. We're having a great time. Everything was moving and grooving so fast, bro. I was looking eating like one time a day bro it's just way too much stuff going on so to say all that we had fun we went to a bunch of different events we met a bunch of great people but to finish off the trip in the best way we went to the Hennessy party and shout out to the Hennessy team for putting on a dope event. We had a really good time and I'm telling you guys right now, it was extremely hard for a lot of people to get in. So I was really honored to be able to have the opportunity to go into the party and meet all these new people, all these new celebrities and athletes and everything like that. But not only just them, the actual back end and all the other people that work and help them put all these things on and that networking was very, very valuable. So I had a really good time with that and they ended up hooking me up with this dope ball right here so this is white ball and it's got this iridescent kind of blue to it and it was like real snowy it's actually i got a clip it was kind of snowing like a snow flurry while we we're at the bar at one of the bar there was like a lot of different bars at this venue it was like a three-story venue and i'm talking about bro like ai was there you name it like all the ballers everybody was there it was a great time we had a good time but they had these dope balls all throughout the venue and these special bottles and i really like this basketball i thought it'd be something for a dope display piece for myself so kind of got that iridescent lines on it with the all white all throughout the ball then you got the hennessy logo right here on the back end and you got the hennessy on the front with the nba official spirit of the nba so that makes a lot of sense and i thought this was something super dope to take home and have a good time with so that's kind of it that's wrapping it up let me know what you guys think about the pickups if you guys want to hear more stories about the weekend i know i was kind of vague on some of the things but i just had a really good time i wanted to tell a couple stories about the things that i picked up and if you guys want to see more videos like this or me in different cities or going to different events let me know i'll try to record more i know but i was very busy getting to work as well and building relationships because that's more important than getting all these material items so i'll see you guys in another one i'm out Yo, before you go, I just launched my Sneakerhead Academy where we got everything on the inside. I teach you all the stuff that I learned over the past 15 years when it comes to sneakers, scaling, real estate, you name it. We talk about all of it in there. And there's an eight week program plus a bunch of monthly giveaways. I give away shoes literally way too much, honestly. But either way, I'll see you guys on the inside. Hit the link down below in my description or pinned in the comment section for DJ Sneakerhead Academy. And I'll see you guys over there.